division of a decimal by ten, hundred, and thousand. Let us understand this with the following examples. 7.5 divided by 10. Look at the number of decimal places in the dividend. In this problem, since the number of place is 1, we will multiply the numerator and denominator by 10. Therefore, 7.5 into 10 by 10 into 10. We know that while multiplying a decimal number with 10, we shift the decimal point one place towards right. Thus, we get 75 divided by 100. Now, we will solve the problem using long division method. Thus, we get 7.5 divided by 10 equals 0 0.75. What we observe in the result of this problem is that the digits of the decimal number remain same, but the decimal point in the result is shifted to the left by one place as the divisor 10 has only one zero. Next example, divide 7.5 by 100. Look at the number of decimal places in the dividend. In this problem also, since the number of place is 1, we will multiply the numerator and denominator by 10. Therefore, 7.5 into 10 by 10 into 10. We know that while multiplying a decimal number with 10, we shift the decimal point one place towards right. Thus, we get 75 divided by 1000. Now we will solve the problem using long division method. 1. 1000 divided by 75. 2. Since 75 is smaller than 1000, so we put a decimal on top and add 1 zero to the dividend. 3. 750 is still smaller than 1000 and it cannot be divided, so we put 0 on top and add one more zero to the dividend. 4. 1000 into 7 is 7000 and 500 is remaining. 5. Since this 500 will not get divided by 1000, we put zero here. 6. 1000 into 5 is 5000 and the remainder is zero. Thus, we get 7.5 divided by 100 equals to 0 0.75. What we observe in the result of this problem is that the digits of the decimal number remain same, but the decimal point in the result is shifted to the left by two places as the divisor 100 has two zeros. As we have seen in the previous examples, similarly, we can divide 7.5 by 1000. The quotient will be 0 0.0075. The decimal point in the quotient is shifted to the left by two places as the divisor 1000 has three zeros. Remember, the rule for dividing a decimal number by 10, 100 and 1000. 3. Count the number of zeros in the divisor. 4. Move the decimal to the left equal to the number of zeros in the divisor. Let us solve few more examples. Now, since we know the rule, we can quickly find out the result of these problems. Division of a decimal by a whole number To divide a decimal number by a whole number, we will use two steps. Divide using long division method. Then, put the decimal point in the same place as the dividend. Let us take few examples to understand this. Example 1. Divide 68.5 divided by 5. Step 1. Ignore the decimal point and use long division method. Step 2. Since there is one place of decimal in the dividend, we put the decimal point at one place of decimal on the result. Let us see one more example. 381.3 .3 divided by 31. As we have done in the previous problem, we will use long division method to divide the numbers by ignoring the decimal point. The quotient we get is 123. Since there is one place of decimal in the dividend, we put the decimal point on the result by counting one place from the right. Example 3. Divide 
by 4. We divide the numbers using long division method by ignoring the decimal point. Therefore, 13.84 divided by 4 gives 346. Since there are two places of decimal in the dividend, we put the decimal point on the result by counting two places from the right. Example 4. A construction company transported four stones that weighed a total of 60.24 kilograms. How much did each stone weigh? Solution. Total weight of the stones is equal to 60.24 kg. Number of stones is equal to 4. Weight of each stone is equal to 60.24 divided by 4. Ignoring the decimal point in the divisor, we will divide 6024 by 4. Since there are two places of decimal in the dividend, we put the decimal point on the result by counting two places from the right. Therefore, each stone weighs 15.06 kg. Division of a decimal by another decimal. Let us take few examples to understand this. If the divisor is a decimal number, move the decimal point in the divisor all the way to the right to make it a whole number. Move the decimal point in the dividend the same number of places. Divide the numbers using long division method. Since there is only one place of decimal in the dividend, we put the decimal point on the result by counting one place from the right. Check your answer. Multiply the quotient by the divisor. The product is the same as the quotient. Let us consider one more example. Divide 14.72 by 0 0.64. Move the decimal point in the divisor all the way to the right to make it a whole number. Move the decimal point in the dividend the same number of places. Divide the numbers by long division method. 3. Since the dividend does not have a decimal point, the quotient will not have a decimal point too. Example 3. 14.72 divided by 0 0.064. In order to make the divisor a whole number, we jump the decimal point three times to the right. The decimal point in the dividend is also moved three times towards the right. There is no number in the third place. Hence, a zero is added to the dividend. Now divide the two numbers using the long division method. The quotient is 230. There is no decimal point in the dividend. Example 4. The Henry family drove 276.5 kilometers on the family vacation. They used 7.9 liters of petrol. How many kilometer per liter of petrol did they drive on the trip? Solution. Total kilometers is equal to 276.5. Total liters of petrol used is equal to 7.9. Number of kilometers per liter petrol is equal to 276.5 divided by 7.9. Let's make the divisor a whole number by moving the decimal point to the right. The problem now becomes 2765 divided by 79. Solving the two numbers using long division method, we have the quotient as 35. There is no decimal place in the dividend, so the answer will not have decimal place too. Therefore, distance travelled in 1 litre of petrol is equal to 35 kilometres.